I try to keep this like this, and I know it looks a little whatever now, but if I can keep the more stuff off it, the better. When I'm going to sit here and tie fly tying patterns, whatever it's going to be, I'm going to go grab that material, I'm going to set it right here, and I'm going to just whip, whip them out. But you got all these boxes here, and I know that, uh, and I want to kind of show a little bit just because you don't see them, but um, for instance, if I were to grab this box right here, in this box, this is probably a $1,000 box. Uh, I could set it right here. And the reason why I say a thousand dollar box is when you're in the flight time, you're going to see, see the grade of these saddles. These are all size 20 to 24 hackle. I mean, that's, and not just one select grades uh, that you acquire over time. Some of them you can see are already sparse. I've used them so much. Mm -hmm. But um, anybody who's into fly tying knows all these things about all these. And there's, <laughs> well, you see. I mean, yeah, lots and lots of feathers. Um, so that's a pretty important box. Obviously, I have some hanging on the walls. I have some everywhere. But all these boxes are that same way. Not that they're all chicken feathers, but they all have a specific purpose. They all have something in there that that I'm going to use to tie specific flies. Um, and I'll pull them out. I'll get them out. I try to be organized about it. I kind of get a little OCD when I'm going to tie flies. Uh, I'm not going to say that my desk is never a mess because it absolutely is. But what I'm trying to say is that I have a thought process of what I'm trying to do. So I'll, I'll usually get the materials out and I'll start tying those flies. Um, whether it's a certain type of dubbing, whether it's going to be some kind of you know, nymph skin or, or span flex or whatever it is. And, uh, and I'll work on that. I have lots of hooks and things everywhere that I hang stuff. I don't know where everything is. Um, these are some stripped quills. I like to get some stripped quills. I try to try to label them, you know, what colors they are, stuff like that. You can see that they're already a little lower because I have a whole bag of them down here. But Dylan and I, and I'll show you that now. Well, another thing, see, there's there's threads hiding everywhere, right? We all got threads hiding everywhere. I'm a Simperfly guy, so I have lots of Simperfly stuff right here. Um, I still get a lot of their stuff, and I and I keep it in certain specific spots, like uh, little bins, like like the nano bins and the uh, micro glints and stuff like that. Um, I'm also a nervous Nelly about material. And what I mean by that is if I buy one and I tie a specific fly with it and I like exactly how it comes out, well, I need to go get 10 spools of that because I don't want to be without it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ever say, man, two years from now, I remember I had that spe specific type of whatever and it's gone. So I try to I try, I'm, I try to buy lots of it. Um, I have boxes of, let's see. I'm sure like everybody, of course you see all the dubbing here, but there's, and this is just one box, but it's dubbings and dubbings and dubbings and different blends. And I have a few guys on Instagram that have been awesome enough to send me some, some of their personal uh, blends of dubbing. Jose Avelanzo is just one of them and he, blend some amazing dubbings and I use those specifically and, and what's cool about that is that I know that that's a custom blend. I know that that is going to make my fly just a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to grab another box. This is CDC. This sits on my desk a lot. Um, I've been tying a lot lately with this Swiss CDC. If you guys don't have that stuff, get some. It's just a different, it's different. Um, they have a lot more feathers on the plumes. I tie a lot with Trout Hunter, uh, which we all have. We all, I mean, just lots and lots of materials. It's everywhere. I try, and when I say try, to be manage specific about where my things are. Like, I know all my CDCs are here. I know all my dubbing's here. If I'm going to tie Wooly Booger stuff, I know that that's all in this bin. Um, those types of feathers, and again, it's just, it's more hackles and more chicken feathers and more 
we definitely support our fly shops. That's that's for sure. <laughs> but there's just stuff. Some of it has dust on there, and then uh, all the nymph skins and the virtual stuff and the you know I, just like any other fly tire, we have lots and lots of stuff. This little box has been with me for probably 25 years, but it's full of dubbing, you know. And a lot of the dubbing in this box is from, we talked about it earlier, Charlie's Fly, Charlie's fly Box. Uh, Char Charlie's Fly Box, Charlie's. Charlie's, Charlie's Sporting Goods. And it's old stuff that you can't even get no more, hmm. you know. Do you actually um, use it still or you just kind of keep it for? I do, but there's a, only a specific certain patterns that I will pull that out for that I know that that's the original way we tied that. Um, Tell me about your light. Oh, my little, my little commercial light here. So it's a little YouTube. I mean, YouTube, it's a Bluetooth. Bluetooth I'm sorry. It's a Bluetooth light. Uh, I'm an electrician, so I can manufacture my own way of doing, doing stuff here. But definitely I have to have really good lighting when you're uh, tying small flies. So this helps, helps out a lot. So typically, um, typically what I do when I'm tying flies, this is kind of funny, but certain flies put me in the mood for what I'm tying. Like if I'm listening to some hip hop or something, I'm usually tying small, small midges. If I'm tying some, uh, some small dries, it's usually some Aaron Lewis, some stained, something like that, that I'm really digging. Uh, Metallica, that kind of stuff. If I'm going to listen to metal or more pump up music, it's usually going to be the larger dries, stimulators, uh, the gadger bigger stuff so music puts me in different moods like it does for everybody but when I'm tying flies and usually my captions will come from that um, whatever I'm thinking at that moment wherever that song comes out when I put it on Instagram it's usually lyrics from something that I was listening to when I was tying that fly so I, I don't know some Dylan does the same <laughs> something that we just do uh, I'm always listening to music I rarely tie without a glass of wine or beer, a mixed drink. I, I'm not trying to say I'm anything about alcohol. It's just that's the way I am. You know, I, I enjoy it. I like to relax. This is this is my relax room. This this right here is my sanctuary. This is where I'm going to be. Hooks. I think we talked about hooks. Uh, I know we talked about flies, but these are boxes and boxes and boxes of hooks. There's 10,000 hooks here, uh, all different styles. Fueling mill, uh, fire hole, great brand, Hannock. Uh, Daiichi. Um, a, a question that I do get asked on Instagram in with what is my favorite hook? What is my favorite hook to tie? If I had to pick one specific hook that I'm going to tie them for the rest of my life, and I and I it's going to have to be a small one because I do like to tie small flies. It's going to be this one right here. That is my favorite hook, people. Secret about easy ply. It's going to be the Daiichi 1110 in size 20 or 22. Um, they have a large eye, and I just love that hook. So Daiichi, if you're out there, send me some free hooks. Look at this. Here's a good one. So, <laughs> yeah, I say organized. There's nothing organized about this. But there's a lot of really good patterns on here. Um, these need to be put in boxes. So we're a production line here. You see some RS2s over here. You see some cool caddis. You see me tying those. Um, so crane fly larva and so on and so forth. Look, this is a new pattern. This is a little yellow celly. I don't know if anybody can see that. I haven't put this one out there yet, but I'm going to. I drank too much coffee. Little yellow celly, but that's going to be going out there. But what I typically do, and this is Dylan's kind of idea, we'll take him from that little mess right there, and we'll come sit right over here amongst all these and uh, try to sort them out. This box, a friend of mine, a real good friend of mine asked me to tie some flies for him and his family. Uh, he lost a couple of brothers, and um, let me dust this off. He wanted some flies that represent kind of kind of them. Let me fix this because uh, he wanted to give it to his mom and dad, and he wants it to be in their house. And they're an outdoors family, just like just like me, just like our family. So so we did. Tyson flies, and that's going to him. Name's Sean Velasquez. He's like my brother. I love him. You guys call it the lab. Where is the that? lab. So it's just because all your ideas, all your things fester in the lab, 
and there's usually some chemicals in the lab. And there's a couple of beers, a glass of wine, there's usually some UV resin, there's lots of UV light, <laughs> you know. Um, we have some weird tools, that's why it's the lab. You see all my little setup here of all my devices, my tools, I'm a gadgety kind of guy. Um, and you never know what's gonna happen in the lab. You never know what you're gonna come up with in the lab. I like to draw. I'm gonna share that a little bit because I don't even think anybody knows that about me. But so I do some art. I do some artistry. <laughs> At least I pretend. I like to draw some pictures. Uh, what else is in here? Let's see. Shoot, man. Freaking cool. Here's a really cool one here. <laughs> You'll notice that uh, every single post that I have posted on Instagram, they all end with this exact same way that the hashtag Bigfoot is real. I believe in, I'm a Bigfoot guy. We're like everybody else. We don't have enough fly tying vests and packages and packs. Um, so I have a whole bunch of different styles and types. That I'm. This was my original chest pack and this thing is 30 years old, 25 years old for sure. I'm still thinking about using it because I can't find nothing to replace it. I'm always trying to replace this one and it just never happens. And I love it. That's why I keep it. But I have a couple of new ones in here. I'm hopefully getting ready to try. But this is where the waiter and boots and whatever room is. I, yeah, I'm sure there's fly boxes in there. I'm absolutely sure there's fly boxes in there. You know how it is. With, you know how it is with fly boxes. We have, uh, we have too many. Um, we have a little competition. And we, uh, we order material. So I try to keep all the bags of the material that I get, that I order. Whether it be, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, these are bags and bags and bags of all the fly tying material we order. That's why I say if you get into fly tying, you're not gonna save no money because uh, packages and packages and packages and packages of, this must've been a new one. So it goes in here and then, uh, and there's still some more down there and we see where we're at. And then of course, this is kind of cool too. I don't know anybody that does this, but I'm a geek that way. This little box, people think it's trash and it's definitely not trash. This is the amount of spools cool. and packages of all empty spools that I go through with thread. Of course you see a couple of beer caps in there, but, uh, and I try to replace this about a, about a year, about a, about a year's worth. <laughs> so, yeah, just just so we see where we're at. You kind of gauge yourself where you're at. Like, how much thread am I going through? How much do I need to have enough? Do I? Dead brothers. Yeah. In fact, look, there's the, the, that's Dylan playing junior golf. I don't know if you can see that. I know we don't have any of that because that sucker's so old. But he was just just a tyke there. But uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. You can see who commented there, Davey McPhail. <laughs> I, I, I keep trying to hit that dude up for featured fly tire, believe it or not. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, <laughs> I can't get him to respond uh, no. though. No, that's uh actually he hasn't even seen my message. He's, he's probably, uh, he's, he's probably, in my opinion, that's, he's the pen, he's the pinnacle. So, um, obviously it's just a lot of, um, I talked about my buddy, Philip Baca. Mm -hmm. He's a taxidermist. He painted that for me. I'm going to say that's years ago. That's something in 93, 92. 93, that's how old that is. Um, you can see some of, that, some of the flies we were fishing at the time. Again, more of Dylan's medals from golf. That's my oldest, Isaac, uh, musician. This is a Hopper Wand box. These are some of his, his personal flies tied up. You'll see lots of flies that we have here. I mean, I... Now this we could spend hours and hours on, but... I mean, yeah, there's just, you asked me about some of these flies earlier. There's just boxes and boxes of flies. Uh, how many? I, I don't know. I'm going to probably show off some of Dylan's here in a second as well. But semi-realistic bead heads, larger bead heads. Uh, I don't know. I mean... They're everywhere, you see them. And, and to be honest with you, I, I send out, like we talked about, I've been sending out 
so many lately. I need to kind of stop, to be honest with you. If Easy E-Fly <laughs> sends you a fly, it's coming from my box. I'm not gonna, that's how I tie flies. They're, they're all gonna be the same. They're gonna, um, hopefully they're gonna look the same, um, but I'm gonna grab them from my box. I'm gonna say, here, this is what I'm sending out to this person or that person, you know? So this is kind of your tools area here? Yeah, this is just because you know how a fly tire's desk can get, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna tie something that I need a certain type of thing, I like to come here and get it and then take it to my desk and tie. My wife is definitely a clean, clean lady. She has everything organized. She's, but this is my sanctuary. This is where I get to have my clutter. This is where I get to have my stuff. And it's nowhere large enough for me. Um, it's nowhere big enough for me. But I have a. There's a lot of happiness in here. We spend a lot of time in here. 